Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things video short. The epiphany of our Lord, the one born king for people who don't care. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, share, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get our app. It's available on all major platforms. Share our content, spread the word. And donate. A tax-deductible gift to higherthings.org keeps us putting the gospel in the ears of youth all over the world. And we need that gospel in these dark times. January 6th, Epiphany. Let's take a look at the text, shall we? After Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, Magi from the rising came to Jerusalem saying, where is the one born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the rising and have come to worship him. Eastern sages, come to Jerusalem, the city of the king, in search of the one born king. Now, Herod the king is disturbed and all of Jerusalem with him because Herod the king is king. Even though he bought his throne from Rome with the support of Augustus and, and, and Antony in 40 AD, he was ratified by the Senate. He was made king by brute force. This one, born king of the Jews, is born king of the Jews. David's son. David's Lord. The thing to take note of on January 6th is that Jesus is born to people who don't care. What I mean by that is, let's take a look at the text again. Verse 4. And so, having um, gathered all of the priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. We'll get to that tomorrow. And, he, and they said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, uh, And you, O Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least amongst the rulers of Judah, for out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people, Israel. Herod summoned the wise men to secretly and ascertain from them the time in which the star appeared, and he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word that I may come and worship him. This is super important. Notice. The scribes know where he's to be born. Now, a little geography lesson might help because Bethlehem is about six miles from, from Jerusalem. Now, me and the, um, the dog and I, hello, buddy. You want a treat? Come on, buddy. You want this treat? I'm going to hit you right in the head with it. The dog and I used to walk to Wisconsin from McHenry. It was about a six miles to Wisconsin. We would get there, turn around, come back. It would take us a couple of hours. So the Christ is born in Bethlehem in Judea, of Judea, six miles from where they are, six miles. And they don't want to go the two to three hours to see him. He's the one born king of people who don't care. Herod wants to see him and worship him, but yet, yeah, no, he wants to kill him. As later on in the chapter, he will kill all the firstborn in Egypt. Uh, firstborn in Egypt. All the first, all the, all the, bo those born under two years old in Bethlehem. So, again, Jesus is born to people who don't care. And here's the gospel. Those who do care. Those who go and bring him gifts of gold for a king, frankincense for a high priest. But wait, there's myrrh. Myrrh, a burial spice 
those folks, Gentiles, sinners, they do care. And that's what we learn from Epiphany, is that God is for sinners. God is for people who are losers. God is for people who don't, who aren't, got, don't have it together, who are an absolute hot mess of stupid. God is for, for, for reprobates. God is for failures. God is for single parents. God is for um, those whose life has been wrecked and they did it. Pick your sin. That's the one he's for. Holy people who can't walk the six miles. A king who's more worried about being the king. That doesn't matter because Epiphany shows us the mystery hidden from all ages is that God wants to save people who he who shouldn't be saved. That every religion counts as loser. So if you are a person who looks at their life and is like, when I step into church, I think the baptismal font is going to, going to boil over. If you're a person who looks at their life and goes like, God can't love a person like me. Epiphany, Gentile Christmas is your day because God is for you. And he's for you gold, frankincense, and myrrh much. And the sign above his head, I-N-R-I, on the cross, identifies who he is. Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. Your king, my king, all of us. For Jesus is king over people who don't care. Sometimes that's us, but, but to as many as receive him, he gives the power, he gives the authority to become the children of God. Children born not of human will, not a decision of men, but born of God. I'm Pastor George Barkhart and Thor. Blessed Epiphany to you and to your family. And this has been another Higher Things video short.